Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Round two today. Uh, earlier, I, the video I put up first, I think, before this one, uh, I had the RC four wheel drive Miller Motorsport out again after the changes I made. And uh, we got what, maybe a 15 minute video. I can't remember what the time was on it. And we broke something in the tranny. I, I'm not sure, I, I played around with it at the, uh, at the truck when I got back to the Jeep. And I think it, it may be just something in the tranny, like slipper clutch or how that tranny's put together, something came loose because it was trying to engage or it's one of the cables maybe let go, I'm not sure. So I'll get it home and I'll take it apart uh, one of these days and try to figure it out. But uh, we're back uh, because I'm out for the day. And like I said, I brought a few rigs today and over my shoulder, you see the uh, Element Zool. Uh, so that's a new rig to me. First time I'm having it out. Got the body redone. Uh, put on the um, uh, Megalithics from J Concepts on the uh, for tires, and a set of uh, aluminum beadlock wheels. And I put in the Fusion SE 1800KV uh, two-in-one. So we're going to see how this one does. It's its first run. New body, new paint, uh, brand new tires with the metal ethics so we're going to get out there and we're going to give it another go with this one and if this one goes on me well i've got another one i brought one of the scx6s with me too so we're going to get out with this one hopefully get out with the scx6 at the end too and uh hopefully you guys enjoy this video this is a new one for me the zool going to give it a go not much different than the gatekeeper but a little bit uh lighter i think without the cage and stuff so and we got the fusion uh, se system in it so we're going to give this one a go today and get some footage of that and hopefully you guys enjoy the video so stay tuned and we'll see you in a bit So there's, there's the Zool everybody with the uh, J Concepts Megalithic tires, the um, new paint job, black roof, black fenders, and we did the main body color in the uh, Tamiya uh, Bright Gunmetal. So I think it turned out pretty good, didn't over sticker it, didn't over decal it. Uh, I like how it looks better than the tan one when we did the black roof on it so yeah so just wanted to give you a quick look at it and we got the SE system in there so we're going to give this one a go and hopefully you guys enjoy the video pretty good crawl speed for that uh, Fusion SE yeah that, that's a pretty good crawl speed trying to give it its first little climb here nice it's it looks really good with that paint job compared to the tan I just did not like that tan oh look at that those metal ethics just and it's really soft here it's changed again because of all the rain we've been having but she crawled up that like nothing look at that. Ah, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool there may be a snake up there I don't know they like to come out in sun so let's check the drag brake on this one. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we'll come down. Oh yeah, holds perfect. Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna be tearing apart that Miller Motorsports and putting one of these in. I do have a couple more on the shelf, so I'm just not happy with how that thing is running. But first run for the Zool. Look at that, holds perfect. That's good drag brake. Ooh, that was close. Look at that. Came down perfect. All right. Uh, that thing's got no issues on this hill. Not enough challenge on this hill. 
we'll find another spot. Stock servo. Always run stock till I kill it. This was the RTR. Oh boy. Now I need to find a, a good line to either come down or go all the way up. See if we can side hill it here. We're on pretty steep, uh, steep coulee here. Let's see how she does. Ooh. Like I said, I'm not worried about rolling and scratching it. Yeah, it's got a new paint job, but hey, it's all about having fun. That's a pretty good slow curl. I don't think I'm going to find me anywhere to go here. I pretty much put myself in a bad spot. So we're going to back up a little bit. Nice and easy. Can't even hear that motor right now. Try to wiggle her down a little bit. Yeah, I don't have the fastest thing in there. Like, I just can't, can't freaking see myself spending that kind of money on a, on a reefs. Okay, we're gonna re-angle. I think I would have rolled there. Oh, butt end's getting in front of it. Sorry if it was out of the camera view there, I was watching it. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a tumble here. Yep, I'm catching it. We tried. But that that's where we tried to go. That's pretty steep. Hey guys, I just wanted to chip chime in here and, and show you this grass. So this is a rattlesnake haven in here. All these coolies just house them. They den here, they have their young here, and right now it's baby time for them. And I wanted to show you the grass from the last time we were out. Look at how much longer it is. Because we have had nothing but rain, rain, rain. And now we're coming into the summer heat. So this hopefully will kind of die off a little bit in the next few weeks with the 25s and 30s that we're getting with no rain in the forecast. But that is a snake haven in there. You can't see nothing. So you got to be really paying attention. I just wanted to show you that, how tall that grass has gotten on this path into the coulee. This, we take this every time. And it has probably doubled in length since the last time I've been here. So I'll be sticking pretty close to the coolies up in the tops there where I can see and uh, hear and see them moving around if there's any in here. So I uh, just wanted to show you that.
Today will probably not be as much talking as I normally do, like I did in the last video, because this rig is not giving me any trouble yet. I sure like that fusion. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll t chime in when I feel like I want to chime in, but today is a crawl day. It's been a few weeks since I've been out. So I want to enjoy it and get some, put these trucks to the test. I will say that I've just come around the first corner of the first coulee and they have really changed with the with the rain. The path that I'm on right now is normally a lot uh, wider uh, and a lot of the coulee has come down. We had some pretty heavy rainfalls in the last couple weeks and uh, it does change these coulees quite a bit. So I'm going to show you something in a sec on the next clip on the next uh, run here, climb, that has changed since last year. And uh, I think I remember what video it was. I think I was out with Noof and we were trying to climb this spot with the gatekeepers and we had trouble. Oh, there she goes down. So let me show you that spot. So this is the side I tried with the gatekeeper last year. I'll try to put a link to that video up top there. Uh, oh, I won't try. I'll try to remember which video it was. It was with the gatekeepers, I'm pretty sure. And I tried this side and I could not get up to that ledge. So let's see how we can do. We just got to pick the right line. Let's see how the Zool does. Which is basically the same truck, but a lot lighter. I think that cage makes the ass end uh, a little bit uh, heavier and she seems to take over the front end a lot. This one doesn't seem to be doing that as much. I may need to put some, some weight in the front. Yep. So, look at that, eh? First scratches, it's all good. We'll keep trying. It's all about the video. So that line didn't work. Let's try a different one. Let's try to go a little wider on that line. It's just getting... Uh, Getting the tires to grip. And maybe not in that. Let's try going over this way. Let me try to get a little closer to the truck for you guys. Pretty steep hill here, so. She wants to roll over right there, eh? Just wants to keep rolling. So maybe these aren't as... Oh, sorry guys. I was just adjusting something there. My light's kind of bent up. Let's see. On that roll. I don't mind beating the hell out of my trucks. To try and figure this out. Maybe the metal ethics just aren't good at it, eh? Hmm. We might not get this one. As we couldn't with the with the gatekeeper. Let's try go a different line on the other side. It's more straight. Less crap in my way. I said I wasn't gonna talk much. She's pretty steep on this side. I'm just gonna go up one plateau here. Cause I can this year. Last year I couldn't get up this high myself. Whoa, it's getting warm out here. Uh, no, I don't like that line. We're just gonna, we're gonna go over this way a little bit. That's pretty steep. I think we're gonna roll here. Yeah, trying to get that grip. She just lets go underneath the wheels. Let's 
See if I can get those tires down in that. There seems to be some shale in there. I can kind of see a little bit. That might help me. Or hinder me. One of the two. Bit of wheel speed got on top there. Well, we're pretty steep here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make that either. Yeah, see how she rolls. Sorry, guys, out of the shot. Not paying attention. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get her up there. So that lead just conquered me again. I gotta find the right truck. Maybe the honcho, SCX6. We're just bringing her back. All right, we'll find another spot. All right, we're at that rock corner, favorite spot of mine, and holy crap, has it changed. It has really, really changed. So we're gonna crawl up here, and I'll show you when we get up there how much it has changed. Even this, this part here, just going up off the bike path here has really, really changed. That rain has really made the difference here, which I kind of like because it does change it. So it, it's always a revolving challenge because it changes. Like this shoot here was a lot more difficult the last time I was out. And it, it still may be because I think that big rock there moved again. Because I don't remember there being those two rocks. So that big rock that I'm kind of sitting by right now, right here, I think was over because I think I went in between them. I'll have to check the video. But uh, yeah, I think it has changed. So we're just going to see if I can traverse these rocks here without doing too much damage. No, nope, I got my lights caught on there. Let's try this way. Yeah, that big rock definitely moved. There we go. No problem there. But yeah, so. A lot more uh, mud has come down too, further. So we'll see what we find up top there. We're in that rock corner still, and it has really changed. So we're gonna do some crawling up here. It's really, really changed. That rain just makes a huge difference on these coolies. So we're gonna go up this corner here. It's really changed a lot, but we're gonna crawl it. See what we can do. A lot more vegetation uh, this year too. Normally all this stuff is dead because it's so dry. Oop. Stuck on that rock here. A little wider here. There we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna find some pretty challenging spots today as we go up. If I lose uh, <coughs> lose the truck in the camera, guys, I sorry. I'm trying to watch my footing as we go up here too and keep a good shot because, like I said, it's on my radio. Still haven't done that video. I'll get to that. So well, this corner here has really changed. And we gotta watch for snakes. They like little holes like that. That to me looks like a snake den. They like to be in those. We're stuck in this hole here. Need to change my angle. Like I said, if I lose it in the view of the camera, guys, I'm sorry. I really don't have a good footing here, but I'm going to try to keep myself here and see what we can do with this.
Yeah, so this has changed here in this corner. A little bit easier to get through that. Boy, that motor is good though. Sure like that uh, fusion. I am going to kind of get above the truck, so wait out. We're pretty steep here. It has really changed in this corner. If it goes down, it's going down without me. Well, that wasn't too bad. I'm losing my footing here guys, so I'll be back, hold on. We're still climbing there a little bit. We'll be in the top here shortly. Just looked for snakes, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. Nice thing up here is there's, uh, it's wide open, not much vegetation, so you can see them. Well, that was not so bad, but it sure has changed there. So far, I'm liking the Zool. Truck to the collection. Sure what the hell's catching me in here. Something is catching me, maybe that rock. Alright, that sucker's pissing me off. Let's go on around it. There we go. Just gotta pick the right line. No, I don't make ethics doing their job.
Nice climb. Nice. That's a tough one.
Hey guys, well that's going to wrap up the Zool video for the, today. Uh, I think it went really well. I'm pretty happy with the rig. I do really like that uh, that Fusion SE 2-in-1 uh, 1800 kV system. <clears throat> that, that's a nice crawl speed. Gives me lots of punch when I need it. I'm glad I went uh, with the 1800 not the 1200. Because it does, I, I like it. I think it's a bit better with the 1800 and I think that's what I'm going to do with the RC four-wheel drive and the wind motorsports too. Because that thing just, that's something's definitely uh, toast in that earlier. This morning we went out with that one for about 15 minutes and we lost uh, a tranny on it. So I think it's either spur gear or <clears throat> maybe they just didn't put it together well and, and it's wanting to engage sometimes when I played with it at the, at the Jeep but I couldn't get it to, to stay in there. So we'll have to tear that apart and have a look. We'll do a video on that when I get into it. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, so that'll do the Zool. Uh, it's still kind of uh, early. It's not too late. I might get out with uh, with the SCX6 here once I get back to the Jeep. I'm, I'm a bit of ways from the Jeep. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the Zool. I, I enjoyed it. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll be having this one out for sure some more uh, in the near future. And don't really need to do much. I think I'll put some front weight in and maybe a little bit in the back. I'm not sure. Uh, the butt end seems to take over the front end again, but uh, not as bad as the gatekeeper did. So, and we got to get that out again too. But yeah, so thanks guys for watching. Thanks for the subscribers and coming out and watching my videos, commenting, and uh, giving uh, giving me a thumbs up on my videos. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the Zool and and the 1800 kV system in there. I think it's good. The crawlability of it is amazing. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe and make sure you to click that bell and select all so that you're notified of any new content that I put up. It's free, costs you nothing. Uh, help support the RC community channels. I do it for, for thousands of people. And uh, share that love and, and go check out other channels and, and make sure you uh, give them a thumbs up and leave a comment also. So. Thanks for watching guys and again we'll see you at the next one. Maybe I'll be back out today with the SAX6 but that video probably won't go up today. But anyways guys stay safe. We'll see you at the next one. Keep the wheels to the ground. Cheers.